What's going on, lovey doveys? Happy, happy 4th of July to you all. I hope everyone is having a very happy and safe 4th of July. Be careful, be safe. You know, spread love, give hugs, do your thing, chicken wang. Anyways, but Auntie Cuckoo's got a, another doozy for you. It's another wild murder story. <gasps> Who would have thunk it, right? But I got it. So, before we get started, um, I don't know, did you read the description? You see that literally she was stabbed over 80 times when she got, when the police got there, she opened the door with blood all over her face after repeatedly biting her. Yeah, that's what happened. All right, but you want all the deets? I got them for you. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Storytime Auntie Cuckoo, K-O-O, K-O-O. Let's do it, baby. Buckle up, buttercup. So this takes place in um, Independence, Candace. And we'll start like in 2006, just to like give you guys a kind of like a rough time frame where we're at. Um, key players, like usual, Paige Conley. Paige Conley. She is, at this time, she is 28 years old. She's the baby of the family. Um, but since her teen, she's been struggling. Her parents got divorced. Um, it was really hard on her. She started struggling, drinking and doing drugs and whatever else. My question is, how does that lead to stabbing your mother and biting her? I don't know what we're getting there, right? So, um, she was struggling. She was having a hard time in life or not. She was using drugs and alcohol. So mom, of course, whose mom's name is Carlene, is like, you know, this is my daughter. I'll do whatever I can help. She felt responsible, you know, like I divorced my husband, her father. She's been going through it. So mom was always there to bail her out. So during us, all these things are happening and Paige Conley is like spiraling into all these drugs and alcohol. She's seeing doctors and stuff. And like some doctors are telling like, you're good, get clean, get straight, get your shit together. You'll be okay. Other doctors are like, oh, I could see maybe you do have some mental health issues, some depression or some psychosis or this and that. She rode that friggin' wave. She's like, yeah, 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 I got mental health issues and started doctor shopping everywhere. <clears throat> when she could not get things from doctors, what she did, and let me remind you guys, like I said, mom always took her back in, 28 years old, living at home with her mother. Um, when she could not get what she was looking for from doctors, she would go and bang on her neighbor's door. Little old ladies lived in her neighborhood, like next to her mother's home, bang on the door, knock, knock, knock. You know, Miss Betty comes out, oh, Paige, it's good to see you. What's going on, Paige? Paige is like, hey, can I use your bathroom? Miss Betty's like, why? What's wrong with yours? Nothing. I just got to go to the bathroom real bad. Runs up and would raid these neighbors' medicine cabinets looking for drugs. You know, she was doctor shopping. And then when that wasn't working out, she literally was like pretty much lying, conceiving, manipulating, doing whatever to get into people's homes to raid their medicine cabinets. Some twisted shit, right? Anyway, so that went on. <laughs> Needless to say, Paige, you know, she's getting in trouble. She's getting arrested. Every time who comes to the rescue, dun 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 dun, Mommy Dearest. Sweet, loving, caring, wanting to do anything she can for her children, Miss Carleen. Her mom, you know, she's going to bail her out. She's trying to help her child. She's not a child anymore. She's in her 20s. But, you know, she feels responsible. She's always there to bail her out, always there to help her, always welcoming, welcoming her back into her home. <clears throat> so... This continues on, and mom actually ends up getting fired from her job. Again, she's a di divorcee mother, um, you know, and she's got her 20-something-year-old, almost 30-something-year-old daughter living with her, calling her every day with drama and issues, and mom, Carlene, is constantly leaving work, so the boss is like, dude, I can't do this. You can't be leaving every day for your almost 30-year-old daughter. You got to go. Done. Mom fired. Carlene... You know, she's devastated. That's the mom. I'm sorry. I almost messed up. That's the mom. She's devastated. Paige, she's like, and what? So they don't understand about family issues? You know, like, she's just in a whole other world that's all revolved around her, Paige. She's, like, twisted. So the mom, Carlene, loses her job but continues to try and help her daughter. Well, it not only goes from, like, her, like, manipulating her verbally and everything else that it turns to physical abuse. Like... Paige is almost 30 and is literally beating up her mother on multiple occasions. Police are called to the home, neighbors call and stuff because Paige is like going at it with her mom. Paige's sister, who is older, you know, Paige is the baby of the family. Paige's sister is like talking to her mom, you know, Miss Carlene is like, mom, you cannot keep walking her back in your home. There's issues, you know, you're going to get hurt. You cannot welcome her back. And mom's all like, I won't, I won't. 
Paige gets arrested and mom welcomes her back. So, um, one of the last times that Paige was arrested, they got in an altercation, cops came and the cops actually took Paige to a mental health facility to be evaluated for, you know, like physically abusing her mother who is like now elderly, you know, I mean, Paige is almost 30 years old. So anyways, within 24 to 48 hours, she's released like, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good to go. Where do you think she goes? She goes running back to her mom's house. And mom, of course, being loving and wanting to do whatever she can for her child, welcomes her back in the home. Despite, like, her sister's, you know, Paige's sister, the mom's other daughter's, like, like do not let her in. Something's bad going to happen. Enough is enough, mom. But mom, like, feels compelled to help her child. So she lets her back in the home. That brings us to... Let me double check and make sure I didn't miss anything super, super cray cray. I didn't. Okay. So that brings us to March. I think it's the 24th, 2015. So Paige and her sister's son, so Paige's nephew, they share like a birthday almost. They're like one day apart, their birthdays. So the family typically does like a double birthday for it. Um, you know, typically does a double birthday for, you know, Paige, the daughter, aka aunt, and the nephew so mom's planning this and she's like Paige is there anything specific you want tomorrow for your birthday when we do this double birthday Paige's like no I don't want nothing I don't care what we eat mom's like are you sure there's nothing specific you want me to make or anything specific I can get for you tomorrow for the double birthday for you and your nephew there's nothing specific you want Paige's like no I don't care I don't want shit I don't need nothing I don't care so mom is like oh well I know that you know, it's Paige's nephew, which would make mom, it's her grandson. It's like, I know that he loves lasagna. So mom is like, I'm going to make lasagna. Paige didn't want anything specific, so I'm going to make what I know that my grandson loves. Paige friggin' loses it. Goes into a friggin' rage. You don't love me. You're going to make what he loves. This shared birthday flips out. Needless to say, she attacks her mother, wrestles her mother to the ground grabs a knife and stabs her mother over 80 times. Not only does she stab her mother over 80 times while she's doing this, 80 times, by the way, like you get that 80 times. Imagine how long that took 80 friggin' stab wounds into her mother. Imagine when her mother was like yelling and screaming, but not only did that happen, she continued to like bite and tear at her mother's skin. So finally, you know, 80 friggin' stab wounds and bites and wrestling and abuse, but not mom's dead. So Paige calls 911. Boop, 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 boop. Right? It's only three. Just boop, boop, boop. 911. What's your emergency? Yo, my mom's been stabbed. Something's wrong. This is Paige, right? Something's wrong. I'm like, oh my God, what happened? This is March, okay? Don't forget, I said March, right? Uh, what happened was there was some trick or treaters. This was just a bit, this is what this bitch says. There were some trick or treaters, these two young girls trick or treating. And we opened the door and they came in and they attacked my mother. So, needless to say, 911 dispatches, you know, EMS, police, the whole nine yards. They show up. Paige opens the door and there's blood all over her face. And it's not her blood. It's her mother's blood. Because, like I said, she was biting her mother on top of stabbing her repeatedly. Anyways, so the police, like, begin questioning her. And she's like, yeah, these trick-or-treaters were here. And the police are like, what? It's March. What are you talking about? She's like, yeah, these two little girls are trick-or-treating. They came in. They attacked my mother. So, needless to say, they're like process elimination let's go ahead and detain this biatch till we figure out what's happening mom is like bloodily murdered it's said that it looked like a pack of coyotes had attacked this woman from all the bites and the 80 stab wounds it literally looked like a pack of coyotes had attacked her mother that's how bad it was i can't even imagine that um so while Paige is in jail and everything's getting figured out and she's like in holding whatever she's like making jokes talking to her cellmates like you guys know what i think it was I think that it was Paige in the kitchen with a knife, you know, like clue who the F jokes about that. You're, if, if it wasn't you Paige, which we all know it was, but if it wasn't you Paige, who would be sitting in jail and joking about that? And then when they're like, what? She's like, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. First of all, that's a sick joke. Second of all, like no remorse. You twisted effed up bia bia anywho so go on with this story right let's get on with it coco so and you say they're like investigating whatnot obvious it's friggin page so page then decides that 
Um, not only was she going to do like the whole clue joke thing when it goes to trial. Let me double check. Yeah, I got it all right. Right. Yep. Okay. So when they're in trial, she then has a different story again. Um, she says that her mother attacked her, hit her over the head and she doesn't remember anything like the stabbing, nothing. She just came to and the police were there. She didn't know anything. What happened? She was like, stab, stab, stab. What happened? That's what she played. So needless to say, the popos are like, no, nope, no. Nope. The jury is like, oh, guilty, friggin' guilty. So she does. She gets sentenced. She's like, guilty. Done. You're done. So she was convicted of murder and sentenced to 20 to 27 years in prison. As you should be. You should be sentenced to death, you psychopath. But here's the kicker. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of kickers in there and mind-blowing shit. Or stuff, sorry. But June 2019. Conviction was vacated because they say that due to her not having proper funding to have mental health evaluations. So they were willing to give her a retrial. Like, really? Everything's pointing to you. But they were willing to give her a retrial. But, you know, Paige wasn't stupid. She knew what the evidence was. So she went ahead and agreed to plead guilty like a plea um, instead of doing a whole new trial and stuff where she would have been felt found guilty again and possibly maybe put to murder as she should be but she decided to go ahead and plea for the next trial when she got her new trial done and she pleaded guilty um and was sentenced to 20 years 20 years blows my mind so that's the story i got for you guys thanks so much for checking in i appreciate you it's been a pleasure as always I hope everyone is safe, doing well, do good things, give hugs, spread love, be kind, have a very happy and safe 4th of July, and I'll check you on the flip side skillet. Don't forget, click that button, you hit that subscribe. Story time, Auntie Cuckoo. Do it. Do it. Put your booty in. Do it. Do it. Do it. Deuces.